Hello and welcome to uh, part 2 tutorial. Uh, now there is no translation now. Um, uh, this tutorial is really going to be quick because it's very simple and it's covering one of the most easiest step in creating a TV items where uh, you have to create a somehow um, lower third um, presentation of the show that you are going to show. So uh, without further ado, I really want to make this very fast so I'm just going to show you the preview. Of what are we going to be creating? So, basically, as you could see, um, we have some. Um, video and then we have the date then we have the name of the show and then we have the logo of the channel which is popo channel and this is the most important thing in the whole assignment if you don't put this you fail now joke it no I'm not now um the thing is very easy because we're just going to use the one that you used before that glass effect glass layer that we used before and we're just going to change the color and uh, yeah we're going to see how we can put the text appear um the way it appears i mean like that all right so um as you can see not many layers this time it's really really easy i mean it's really really easy so uh Let's do this. So first thing first, uh, I'm just gonna go and put everything inside again. Right. This one. This one. So I'm just gonna go and put everything inside. Alright, so I'm just going to go create a new composition and I'm going to call this show presentation and I'm just going to keep it this way, uh, probably I'm just going to put it 05 for now. Um, Alright, so first thing first is I need to bring my video, so I'm just going to go right away, bring it here and I'm just going to choose a, a part where I can see some stuff going on, so probably here. But then I have this kind of thing, so I'm just going to go fix this by scaling up and just a bit. Okay. Alright, cool. So, I mean, that was one. So, what I need to do now is I'm just going to go, it's really simple, where I just have to go take this glass bar. I don't know if you still remember that. Well, this one. I'm just gonna use it. Hold on, let me close everything. Alright, so this glass bar that we created in the beginning and it has the lens flare effect. So I'm just gonna, what I'm going to do, hold on. what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go to it and duplicate it here and then open it. Well, I'll close the other one then what I'm going to do is I don't need this one so I'm just gonna go solid two dot dot this one probably I'm gonna take this one I'm just gonna keep the I'm just gonna keep this guy and I'm gonna keep this one so the way I did it was I just went here and in ramp I changed the color to something that probably makes sense something like This kind of colors. I don't really remember the colors I used, so I'm just gonna go that. So um the last thing I did was I just went and uh, did something like this. Alright. Cool. So that's all. Actually that's all. So I'm just gonna go and uh I'm gonna bring back this color thingy and what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go and uh, rotate this baby a bit so just hold shift scale 
and then I'm going to scale up this guy and put him somewhere around here okay this Facebook is really making me angry um, so what I'm going to do is um, yeah that's it cool and the last thing is you'll see that it's getting a bit blurry so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go and sharpen this and I'm gonna have that effect but the thing is the effect is very big the effect is very 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 big so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to this guy and uh, I'm gonna feather this guy a lot I'm gonna feather this guy a lot I'm gonna feather this guy a lot so I'm just gonna go create a new account viewer and uh, all right. I'm just gonna take this guy and move this guy here. So now, all right. So I just have a bit, and that's what I want. Cool. Um. Yeah. That's it. Cool. So now I have that. Um, actually, you can play with the color as well if you want. So you can just go and add probably more color because this one is maybe too dead. So um, Here, that's it. Cool. Well, the last thing you you need to do is uh, you come here, you go to scale, a lot. You put a keyframe, then you go for like one, two. Hold on, the optical flare is actually killing everything. So I'm just gonna fasten things up. I'm just gonna make a keyframe, and then here. After I put a keyframe, I'll just go here and then shorten this guy just like that. Zero. And I'm just gonna go put this guy like this way. Alright. Cool. So now I'm just gonna go and Easy is this guy. Um, right, right click and keyframe assistant easy is. Alright, cool. All right, that's it actually. So the only thing now I need to do is I'll just have to go and create a text, and then I'm gonna call this every every. Saturdays. I love Saturdays. So I'm just gonna put Saturday there. Saturday. Every Saturday. And once I'm done, I'm just gonna go and um, probably I need to animate this guy. Uh, hold on. I need first to test. I need to test this thing. All right. Cool. So it's actually pretty smooth. You can play with the graph if you want, but I'm not going to do this so that I can keep this very fast. Um, in order, how I animate this is that after this, I just went like um, here in the position. I put a keyframe, and before. Right? Put this keyframe here, and then before I just put it up. All right, so that's how it works. Exactly, and easy is this one, of course.
All right, but the thing is I need to hide this part. So how I did it was really, really, really simple. I just went created a, a white rectangle like this. And I just went here and I did alpha. That's all. All right. So now you, all you have to do is just go duplicate this guy put it up um, we're just gonna put it somewhere somewhere on top of this guy here so what's gonna happen is it's just like that oh, that's too much okay Cool. All right, cool. All right, cool. All right, now once I'm done with that, I'll just go duplicate this layer, put it on top. Position is actually on the delete the positions, and I'm just gonna go. Uh, actually, I'm going to put a keyframe here. Alright, put a keyframe here, and after a bit, it goes up. And I'm just going to take the same shape, duplicate, put it on top. But the thing is, alright, I'm not seeing it when it goes up because I need to invert it. I'm just going to invert it. Now, this time, in spite of showing, right? nice. Now, I'm just going to go and. Uh, Change this to the walking dad, and uh, you just choose the color to something that really makes sense. I'm just gonna make it cool and make it big. Make it bold now. Maybe no, maybe it's for bold. Uh, last thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go and bring my logo uh, first. Uh -huh. This design is too easy to use this guy. Keyframe system too easy. Alright, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go and bring my logo. Uh no really a logo. Uh, I'm just gonna go open this guy. I just wanna copy this guy. Alright, cool. I don't wanna write it again. So I'm just gonna go and put this thing here. And scale this baby to 70 maybe. And just put him there. In the between. So once these two appear, then I'm just gonna go to the opacity, put a keyframe here. And then here, put a keyframe. So once this appear, cool. And then we'll have. Uh, Keyframe assistant. All right, that's it. Well, the text, the second text was fast, but yeah, cool. All right, that's it. Um, uh, what I did actually later was I just want to see my compound. So what I did was I just put them together. Um, I put the first one and the second one together and it gave me this look. So yeah, anyways, so that's for part two. Part three is going to be really, really hard. Uh, actually, it's really not. It's just the same concept, but it's going to be not really hard, but time consuming because we have to copy and paste a lot. So um, uh, that's all for this tutorial. I really, really hope that was really easy and helpful. Um, hopefully, you guys uh, enjoyed the part one. And I'll see you guys later for part three.
Alright? Cool. Alright, see you guys.